Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain Coulomb's law with great clarity. One should know Coulomb's law explains force in between two point charges. To understand Coulomb's law, here I'll cover definition of Coulomb's law. I'll explain force direction using Coulomb's law. I'll explain force calculation using Coulomb's law. And at last, I'll solve one problem based on Coulomb's law. So let us begin the session with first agenda that is definition of Coulomb's law. One should know force acting between two point charges that is directly proportional to those two charges and it is inversely proportional to square of distance between them. So as per Coulomb's law force acting between two charges that is directly proportional to value of those charges and it is inversely proportional to square of distance between them. So here we have two point charges Q1 and Q2 and these two charges are separated by distance R. So force is directly proportional to Q1 and Q2 and it is inversely proportional to square of distance between them. And this proportionality constant that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. This epsilon 0 that is absolute permittivity and its value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12. If you substitute the values then it total constant is k that is 9 into 10 to the power 9 means force is k q1 q2 by r square where k is 9 into 10 to the power 9 q1 and q2 those are charges and r is distance between these two charges. So Coulomb's law that we use it to identify force acting in between two charges, right? Now I'll explain you direction of force. To understand direction of force, I'll be considering first case in which we will be having same polarity of charges. Same polarity of charges means here both of the charges are positive or negative. If we have same polarity, then q1 into q2 that will be greater than 0. In case of same polarity in between charges there will be repulsive force you can observe. So direction of force that is repulsive force as if we have same polarity of charges. Right. And in second case I will consider opposite polarity of charges. Opposite polarity of charges means one charge will be positive and another will be negative. In case of opposite polarity of charges, Q1 into Q2 will be less than 0, right? And in case of opposite polarity of charges, force between two point charges that will be attractive force, right? So direction of force that is based on polarity of charges. If we have two charges, if both charges are positive, or both charges are negative in that case there will be repulsive force in between two charges and as if we have two charges with opposite polarity means one is positive second is negative in that case there will be attractive force between two charges right so here see direction of force that is based on polarity for same polarity there is repulsive force you can observe and for opposite polarity there will be attractive force right so that is our direction of force that one can understand now i'll explain you force calculation using coulomb's law so direction wise and definition that we have seen right so here i'll be considering one scenario in which we have same polarity means q1 into q2 that is greater than zero right same polarity is there you can observe here we have q1 and q2 separated by distance r and q1 q2 is greater than 0 means both are having same polarity. Here as it is having same polarity there will be repulsive force right but our agenda is to understand how to identify f1 along with direction and how to identify f2 along with direction that is what the basic agenda which we have. So let us consider we have q1 that is associated with vector r1 and this q2 
that is associated with vector R2 and that is there with respect to origin means Q1 is having position vector R1 and Q2 is having position vector R2 right so based on position vector how to identify direction of F1 along with magnitude so if you want to calculate F1 then magnitude is how much a q1 q2 by r square that we have already seen as per the definition but here i have multiplied unit vector r1 that gives you direction of this force f1 now what is unit vector r1 unit vector r1 that is happening as per this direction now you see direction is there in this direction so here we have head and here we have tail so here we have head and here we have tail so r1 is R1 minus R2 divided by magnitude of R. R1 is R1 minus R2 over here. As per the direction, see head minus tail. Right. R1 minus R2 divided by magnitude of R. So force F1 that is KQ1 Q2 by R square into unit vector R1. And as per the arrow, we need to identify the direction. Here arrow is there in this direction. So head minus tail. Head is there along with R1 and tail is there along with r2 right similarly if you want f2 then magnitude is k q1 q2 by r square into unit vector r2 here head is r2 and tail is r1 right so unit vector r2 is r2 minus r1 divided by r so that is how along with the direction we can identify force using coulomb's law right now let me solve one problem so here I'll be considering one example where we have two charges you can observe Q1 and Q2. Q1 charge that is having value of 1 microcoulomb and Q2 charge that is having value of 2 microcoulomb. So we have two point charges right and these two point charges are separated by distance 1 meter. So here we have distance between these two charges that is 1 meter right. You can observe here we have same polarity of charges as if we have same polarity of charges we will be having repulsive force so direction wise we have force like this that is repulsive force between two charges but what is the magnitude simply it is k q1 q2 by r square so if you use this equation of coulomb's law where k is 9 into 10 to the power 9 q1 is 1 micro means 10 to the power minus 6 Q2 is 2 micro means 2 into 10 to the power minus 6. R is 1 meter over here. If you substitute the values, then here you can observe 10 to the power minus 12 into 2 and 10 to the power 9. So here 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power minus 12 means 10 to the power minus 3. And 9 into 2 means 18. So 18 into 10 to the power minus 3 Newton force that is acting in between the two point charges. And that force is repulsive force over here, right? So this is how simply we can understand Coulomb's law. In future coming videos, I'll be solving some complex examples. I have initiated this with a bit easy example. With respect to problems, I'll increase the complexity in future coming videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.